Hey everybody, look how sweet uh, my little mice are. Mice are not always this way. Um, when I have raised probably over a hundred mice now, when they are not used to your hands, they are very, very fearful and they will run away and, uh, you know, for good reason. And, uh, and if you corner them, they, they can get very aggressive and bite you uh, when they're younger. And, and I have found out uh, that it's very, very, very painful when they clamp down on your finger. Um, even with, you know, being small size and with those small teeth, they don't necessarily cut into your skin, but it's very, very painful. Um, so I just wanted to show people, and it's also fun because people get so freaked out about mice. They'll all come up here. Uh, when I come in and they'll all gather right here and some of, some of them like I think it's this one will actually get into my hand I mean usually you, you can grab them by their tails and, uh, and pick them up like that and put them in your hand but look how how I mean <laughs> it's funny to say cute but they they have little hands they can grab things with their little hands they're prehensile, or, or not, that's the tail, the prehensile tail, but I can't remember, you know, what the, the fingers and the hand operation, but um, they have that ability. I'm trying to keep this in the video. And they'll just let you rub their their heads. I mean, they could be, they could be fearful and bite you and, uh, you know, scratch you and try to get down. They'll let you rub their ears, and they like to have their necks rubbed. Some more than others, but um, and they're soft. They're they're like chinchilla fur. But that's that's one of my mice. I can't keep track of them. I got about six of them in here, and uh, one of them likes to be picked up. Going <laughs> trying to get down. Let's see. The one with the white's a little apprehensive. I'm trying to find one that likes to, that likes to be picked up. So they'll actually come and get into my hand. That's very unusual. But I don't have it. I mean, right when you bring in the camera, it's a perfect opportunity. But they will all five gather right here and look up at, at me. And, uh, you know, if it's food related, is some of that, yeah, but also to the attention, they're all uh, hanging out down. It's nighttime in here, uh, in their, in their cage. But with this setup here, I have their wheel that they like to run on. And it's so odd that you stick a wheel in there and the mice have never seen it, but yet they know to get on that and run. And they enjoy that because I will come in and there will be three or four on here and one's running the opposite way and the other one's running that has more power and the other one's riding around and, and there'll be three on here and three will be riding and one will be running and they're trying to fling each other off and it, it's to the best of my knowledge, you know, it looks like they're enjoying it. Um, this guy is my most friendly one um, and maybe this one right here, but they come up and smell your hand. Um, you know, in the beginning, they'll come up and they'll actually, you know, nip at your hand. But then they learn um, that, you know, that that's not the best behavior. But uh, I just love all God's creatures, um, you know, as long as, you know, it's in the right state of mind. You know, if you pick up something wild, you're going to get bit uh, and you're going to get hurt or you could catch, a, you know, an illness or a disease. Uh, from animals, you know, that, that carry things like that. So you got to be careful. But uh, so cool that these little creatures adapt and become pet-like and will, um, you know, be social with you. And I just find it so neat. So I just like to share videos with people that mice are not the end of the world and fearful, uh, but <laughs> they're so cool. They're just little bitty mammals, like a raccoon, uh, you know, almost to an extent. I had a group that interbred um, 
because that's what mice do, you know, when, the, when you have a bunch of babies and they're similar, um, they interbreed. And these came out with half, half length tails. The whole, the whole group did. And, uh, and these were actually some of the sweetest of the mice, the ones that came from this, this, uh, this batch, funny batch, batch of mice. But, uh, also, too, I just want to share a little story. I have one of these tubs in uh, the other room because the males are a little bit more stinky because of their scent glands. And uh, so I have this container in the other room, and I had about five of my males in a setup like this. Well, Matt the Tegu, the 38-inch long Tegu, three feet, a uh, couple inches long, he found his way into the container. And he was in there and he ate all the mice. Uh, and I won't go into any more detail than that because it's kind of sad. But one of my long-term males that I've had a year um, he had his little life kind of extinguished um, pretty quickly. The tegus are pretty voracious eaters. Uh, but Matt got into the container and had the biggest reptile grin on his face when he was sitting in there. And I came in there and was shocked. I was like, <gasps> Mac. And Matt got in there and destroyed that. But now I'm down those male mice, which is a good thing. So I don't need to have a bunch of mice. I could just have one as a pet um, and be just perfectly fine. Or maybe two or three females because they do enjoy other mice. They're, they're not uh, mice that, that want to live by themselves and that they get in fights. Some of them do. But most of the females will get along with each other. And they'll actually, when one has babies, they'll share the burden of, of feeding the babies. So when the babies come out, when the original mother goes out and, and gets food or something, then one of the other females will come in to those, the litter of the small baby mice, little pink baby mice, and will start feeding them, um, breastfeeding them, you know, or the teats on the bottom of them, just kind of like, you know, cats and dogs and stuff. But uh, they're not being... Really cool when they're all up here, you know, five or six of them are up here and they're, they're acting like, you know, little baby puppies wanting attention. Uh, but they're all, they're all kind of hiding out now. All right, here's one of my darker mice that's kind of a titanium colored. And they, they are so, I just like them, man. They're just, they're very neat. Um. The only negative thing is that they poop and pee a lot, kind of like rabbits. And so they're not that fun to take out and put on your shoulder or put on a desk, you know, and play with and watch because they will, uh, you know, poop and defecate and pee. And it's kind of, it's not super uh, delightful when they go pee because it has a little bit of a, a smell to it. Um, but they're... Just so friendly and soft and, um, you know, a little interactive. But this is, he's a little bit more of a darker brown, a gray color. And they just, they just eat in a little, little dish. I have a, like a little bowl. And I just put the uh, mice food that you get from PetSmart Petco in there. And they just, they love to eat with their little hands, kind of like at the dinner table. And they all just kind of come over. This one likes to sit in the bowl. But, uh, and then, you know, just uh, different pieces of, of wood in there. I like to chew on wood. And I'll, uh, also, too, it helps to maintain their teeth. Um, the length of their teeth because their teeth never stop growing. But uh, yeah, that's basically uh, keeping mice. So let me just show you their cage. Um, water bottle, a durable water bottle right here. Uh, a wheel and stuff for them to climb on and interact with. And uh, I give them a, a bunch of shredded paper that's easy to shred. And then this, uh, you know, store-bought uh, material that absorbs waste in urine and keeps the smell down. But yep, yeah, that's what that's what it's like keeping mice. 
but food and water is what you got to feed them um, and give them uh, some exercise because they will get overweight and give them enrichment. So I have all kinds of bricks in here with all kinds of different chambers and the mice can go in and out and they can hide and they can play and uh, I'm trying to get them out, but they're, but so when you give them places to go and hide, um, then they're, they're kind of hard to pick up. <laughs> But that's what it's like keeping mice, and uh, and it is they are kind of fun, you know. Children keep mice, but uh, I'm a big child, so um, thanks for watching.